Welcome to Highline Excel class number 18. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Week 3, Business 214. Hey, if you're enrolled in the class, just go to our Week 3 website. Hey, we got to talk about subtotaling, some basics and then a couple tricks for subtotaling. The first thing about subtotaling is, what is it? Well, hey, let's just say we have a car type field and we want all the totals for Toyota, for GM, Subaru. But look, we are going to have car type field. We have to get all the Toyotas together and then go over to the sales column and actually add a, uh, a total for all of the sales. So really the criteria will be in one field, but where we do the calculation, whatever it may, might be, it can be other things besides some. There's 11 functions, but that's going to be on a separate column. Now, before we can do subtotals, you actually have to sort your field that you want to do subtotals. So let's sort. Right click, sort. I'm going to say A to Z. In earlier versions, you find that on the toolbar. So now we've sorted. Now we're allowed to do subtotals. Uh, data, outline group, and then subtotals. I'm going to click subtotals. Now here's the subtotals dialog box at each change in. Well, we need to click this and say car type. This is where the criteria is. So it's going to look through there and goes, oh, at each change in. Well, that's why we had to sort it first. Mm -hmm. So if I were to cancel this and go down, you can see Audi and then Ford. That's what at change in means. And by the way, when we do subtotals, just like when we did sort and filtering in tables, you click in one cell and then open up um, subtotals. So at each change in, we're going to use car type. Now it's asking, it's polite to say, hey, what function do you want? Oh, there's 11 of them. Sum, count, average, max, min, product, count, numbers, standard deviation, standard deviation of the population, variance, and variance of the populations. I'll actually click Escape here. As always, I have notes, and I have a, a list. And there's uh, two types of, uh, oh, here's the list of the function. There's 11 of them, and they're built in. All right, you ready? Let's do this again. So at each change in, I'm going to say car type. The function I'm going to use, oh, sum is fine. And this is where you add the subtotal. Remember we said you had to go over to some other column? So it's going to be sales. By default, it goes to the outer right one if it's a, a and we don't want that. So we're going to say sales. Um, we'll deal with this one in just a moment. There's the remove all. But oh, yeah, we want OK. And just like that, oh, it adds some outlines. And if you click outline three, it shows all the data. But if you click this two, there it is. There's our subtotals. Important about subtotals, we saw with filter. When we used filter and copied it, it copied just the visible cells. But let me just give, show you what happens here. If you highlight all of your beautiful subtotals, how fast that is, control C. Notice when we did filter, it highlighted just the visible cells. Here you can clearly see that because the dancing ants are only going around the outside, it's highlighting everything. Now I'm going to insert a sheet, Shift F11. I'm going to call the subtotals. And watch this, I'm going to Control V. And sure enough, it dumps all of the data. I'm going to click there and get rid of it. So we can't, when we do subtotals, you can't copy and paste. You have to. Um, select visible cells only. Now the long way to do this is to go to F5, down here to special, and then click visible cells only. You, you always wonder what that was, but that's what that is now. The uh, fast way to do that is to do alt semicolon, alt semicolon. And now control C, and you can see control C, now the dancing ants are da dancing around just the visible cells. This is what happens when you copy when you're doing a filter. But this doesn't happen by default when you're doing the subtotal. So you have to do Alt semicolon and then Control C. Now you can go over here and Control V for paste. And sure enough, it pastes just the subtotals. Now let's go back over here. Let's see how to, I'm going to click Escape. How do we turn off our, get rid of our subtotals? Because the data will be retained in its original form. Go to and click Subtotal. Remove all. Now the next thing we want to do is add two subtotals. We would like to add 
subtotals for both customer city with and uh, car type. So customer city within uh, car type. Now we're going to do just like we did before when we sorted. We're going to sort this field first. Right click sort. And then I'm going to come over here and right click sort. So I brought Toyota up to the top this time. So you can see Toyota, City 1, City 1, City 1. Oh, but then there's Toyota and City 2. So the trick to this is now that we've sorted, we have our major sort here, you add subtotals to the major sort first. So here we go. Car type, sum, sales, click OK. So we have that. And we can see when we collapse it, we got just what we got before. Uh, um, three, these are called outlines, right? Three will show us all the details. Now I'm going to go back up to subtotal and I'm going to change it. But right off the bat, you have to just uncheck this. That's the trick. Replace current subtotals. You want to uncheck that. And then we just simply change it to customer city. We're going to do sum on the sales. And now we have four levels. So if we click the three, you can see uh, there are all the cities. And then there's the Toyota total right there. Here's all the cities. And then the Subaru uh, total right there. So um, I'm going to highlight all of this. Come down here. Alt semicolon, Control C. Come over here, and I'm just going to replace this, Control V. And sure enough, now we have our subtotals within subtotals. So there's the total car city one for Toyota, but then there's the total right there. So subtotals, um, that's for two. Now I'm going to get go back up to subtotals and get rid of everything. And by the way, you can get all the way down to uh, level one, which is just the grand total, right? There's uh, level two. Level three is all the cities within uh, car type. Now I'm going to click somewhere and go up to um, subtotals and say remove all. Now we want to try something slightly different. I want to add subtotals again. We're going to do it to car type. But let's change the function. I want to see if I can get an average. So I'm going to say the average for uh, each car type. Click OK. And sure enough, instead of a total, we get our average down. Oh, here, let's cl click this. Boop. And there's our average. Now I want to add another function in here. I want to have an average and the max. So I'm going to go Alt DB. That's the keyboard shortcut from earlier versions, Alt DB. I'm going to say guard type. Oh, but I'm going to add max. Notice I want to make sure this is unchecked. That way I can actually add a second function. So I'll have Toyota average and Toyota max. Toyota max, Toyota average, Subaru max, Subaru average. Now let's go back up there, Alt. DB. And if I, in fact, wanted to replace and not add, but um, I didn't want both, I just wanted the max, then I would use this checkbox here, click OK, and sure enough, we have just the max. All right, uh, that's a little bit about uh, subtotaling, changing the functions. And don't forget that Alt semicolon to highlight visible cells only. All right, when we come back, we'll have uh, do advanced filter. See you next video.